Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports down here in Goalie Utopia, where Cam is pretending to flex. And it's uh, just say if you saw what was underneath all that padding, there wouldn't be much actual flexing going on. But Warrior is flexing with a new, like that, like that segue. Warrior's flexing with a couple new options in the chest and arm category. I'm wearing one, Cam's wearing the other. Gonna be fully honest here. We haven't had a chance us at Ingold to test them out. Haven't done a lot of warrior testing over the years. <clears throat> Something about an unpaid bill. Um, but here at uh, the Hockey Shop Source for Sports, Cam's all over this, so he's going to walk us through what's new, what's, what's good. What's good with the Warrior Chest Protector? So Cam, two different models. I'm in the RX3 Pro Plus. You're in the RX3 Pro. For starters, what's the big difference? Like, what, what am I getting more in the Pro Plus that you're not getting in the Pro? So I mean, it's it completely redesigned for their pro chest. So something they've they've gone away from the mechanical arms a little bit more of a traditional cut and sew, but have still been able to offer that same level of protection that you had in those mechanical arms, uh, for lack of a better term, that we saw in their uh, their older previous series. So, what's the difference between what I'm wearing and what you're wearing? Uh, it's about a size thing, for example. So. The Pro is designed to be a little bit more trimmed down, um, a little bit narrower in the shoulder area in particular. Well, we should have probably put it on the skinny guy then as opposed to... Well, I know, I just, you know, I got to make it look as big as it possibly can still though, right? Okay. Uh, you yeah. Def you definitely fill it out. Oh, thank you. That's cute. Um, so with the arms, <laughs> you're going to find the actual arm floater itself. Again, a little bit narrower in comparison to that Pro Plus as well as the shoulder area. Um, the actual shoulder floaters themselves, as you can see, rounded and segmented on the Pro. Pro Plus, a little bit more puffed up and a little bit wider as well. Again, you're getting a little bit more of that coverage base, especially in the upper shoulder area. A little more squared off. Exactly. We're getting a little bit more of that box look, whereas here you're going to see the shoulders kind of taper down and around. A little bit more natural. Mobility is fantastic in these guys. I can still move around. It's a brand new unit just out of the plastic. Um, yeah, no problems at all with getting my arms up and getting it set forward. Um, uh, I do find these fit a little bit tighter against the body, but between, um, you know, the tuck versus untuck conversation, they can do both extremely well. The way warriors set up their chest is segmenting them, especially at the lower half of the body. So if you don't tuck in, it's going to flare over top of your pants quite easily. If you do tuck in, you can move these extra pieces that are around in three segments uh, around the lower half of the body that is Velcro off, so you wouldn't need that extra length, for example. I gotta say, chirped them about the bills and everything at the beginning, but it is a very comfortable feeling unit as soon as I put it on, and as Cam told you, this is pretty much right out of the box, folks. So, a um, lot of mobility in the arms, uh, and it feels like a fair bit, as much as you talked about it fitting a little snugger, feels like there's some extra layers of padding in there. Correct, so if you stand up and tilt to the side, you can see that wrap around, that the actual chest provides itself. Pull their arm open. Great rib protection overall. Um, something that's definitely becoming a little bit more highlighted in today's game with, with guys going in their reverse VH and up on the side post, you get a lot of that rib exposure and Warrior definitely has you covered all along that side. Okay, so what's chest. what's new? What's like from, we talked about the comparison between the two, but what's new from in this model from a previous generation? Of warrior's chest protector arms are the biggest thing um where you do see again a, a bit of a redesign um from their mechanical models from uh previous they still got that flex system and almost that like um hinge design where that arm still pivots at that same point but they've still been able to create a bit of a gap between where the actual floater is itself and where your arm's going to be in the chest so that's keeping you away from that impact zone still allowing you to feel the puck in terms of where it is but keeping you away from that really hard impact, so you're getting that supreme level of protection. And it helps you absorb pucks. We did find that even in the mechanical unit. Uh, I gotta say, I feel like the elbows lock in nicely as well. Uh, there's a little extra protection underneath uh, in terms of the bottom. Fingers up. Yes. A little extra protection on the bottom half of the arm if you're super goofy and hold it by your ear. <laughs> uh, Hypercomp does make its return in both of these units as well. Um, again, for Warriors those that are new to material. it, hyper, hyper comp yeah. is Warriors carbon fiber material. Again, providing that elite level of protection. Where would I find it in this unit? All over. Same thing over here. So it's like you're getting again that elitist level of protection. I feel quite confident in this chest protector. 
Uh, personally, I'd go for the size, so I'd be looking at the Pro Plus uh, if it was me. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Yeah, again, if you're looking for something a little bit narrower, you know, I wouldn't even say more flexible because I think they're just about the same, to be honest. Um, but again, just looking for a bit of a rounder presence, maybe a little less uh, bulky to you because of that, then maybe check out the Pro. Okay, if you got any more questions about Warrior's new chest protectors, Cam is really dialed in on the Warrior product. Make sure you give him a call here at the hockey shop. Any questions about fit, about sizing, about tucking, about untucking. Remember, it's not just how it looks on you and how it feels. It's about how it incorporates with the rest of your equipment. Those are questions that Cam understands. Where can they get you if they've got more of those? You can give us a call at 604-589-8299. And 1-800 for those that are out of the area. 1-800-567-7790. More than just a pretty face. He's, it's only what, we're almost two years in and he's actually memorized the 1-800 number. Cam, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm impressed with these new units. And I appreciate you taking the time to walk us through them. You're welcome. Ah! Less than friends.